Oh, would you look at that? Karen and I have our sun dome set up. John got his hammock hung right over there with his tarp. Now Karen and John are just enjoying some uh, pub mix. Think about some food, man. Kara's just going to think about the praise. She's just happy to be in the woods. I'll show you. Um, it's one of the better river campsites we've seen. Uh, I'm just saying, if you have never been canoe camping before, sit down. And you want to look into it, this is not a bad place to do it. You can make it a short paddle, you can rent a canoe. Or, you know, if you're just getting ready for your first paddle of the season. Pretty happy with this. Okay. Oh my God, we're floating. Oh my God. Island Lake Rec Area. Yeah, this is our first winter paddle. <laughs> Oh yeah? Is it a good time? Kara's digging herself a little hole. When we camp, that's one of her favorite things to do. She digs herself a hole to lay in. Are you protecting your hole? You having a good time? Yes, I am having a good time, thank you. Are you having a good time, John? I am. John went fishing a little. We split some wood to get the fire going. We have some steaks to grill up later, as the usual. So uh, we gotta get ourselves to some coals. Figured we'd start a little early. I am thrilled. I might have a beer. Beer me, Dano. Oh yeah, look at that fly setup. It's a sill nylon tarp, so it's hard to get real tippy tight. But AquaQuest makes a fine tarp. If you look up under there, it's got a hammock. Pretty sweet. Oh, we got some steaks, eh? Yeah, we got some steaks. We're gonna toss down one for each of us. Oh. Is that one mine? Uh, one of them's yours, Kurt. We just got some coals. Most of the flames are dying down. We're going to go ahead and give it a... You know, probably five minutes per side. Five... <laughs> ten minutes. Flip once. Salt and pepper. s and is the choice for me, eh? clean off our steak spot get our steaks ready these things are looking good man look at this grill marks bud oh yeah you just grab them up in the age of the coronavirus no one's really worried about <laughs> catching E. coli off a picnic table that's been out here all winter so we're just gonna let those rest for five minutes, because you know you wouldn't wanna, wouldn't wanna dilute the steak eating experience. <laughs> <laughs> we're so gourmet we don't even need plates. Oh, that steak smells good. Can you smell it? I smell the blood soaking in. <laughs> I do. It could probably go a little longer, but I think it's fine. I think it's good. I think it's gonna be it's great. Took the big pieces of coals from that. Moved them over to the fireplace to try and start some stuff up. You know, 
because it's nice to have a fire while you stand around and eat your steak. How's your steak, John? It isn't. It's real good considering they're not, uh, you know, Costco steaks. Best steak I've ever had while winter canoe camping. So we're going to try and get this fire going before the sun goes down so we have a little light and heat to hang out by. Because I don't want to call it an early night. Oh, the river is so peaceful at night. Just kind of hanging out. Have the fire still going a little bit. It's a pretty cool little site to check out. Especially with it being so close to where we live. Dock's pretty nice. I'm glad we came out here. Yeah, I'm super glad we came out here. We're just gonna, you know, hang out by the fire, enjoy each other's company, eat a few snacks. Then we're gonna hit the hay, man. It's been a good night. Night, guys. See you in the morning. Eventually. Uh. Oh, good morning. We have awoken. We've begun to pack for the day, and we have drugged the canoes out of the water. But why, Drew? Why did you drag the canoes out of the water? Well, because, fine viewer, just up the river, the first thing we would have to deal with today is an obstruction. So instead of dealing with that branch, with that tree coming across the lake, or across the river, we're gonna go over to campsite two, just up the trail, drag our canoes and stuff over there. And when we get all our stuff up to campsite two, we're gonna launch from there, just around the obstruction. We can make it about 200 yards before the next obstruction. Let's see if that holds out. Oh, good morning! Good morning! Looks like you had a windy night. Yeah, I just kept ripping the uh, steak out. John came to sleep with Kara and I last night at about 5 a.m. <laughs> you made it most of the night. <laughs> well, I made it, so yeah, I mean, it ripped it out, what, three, four times? After the fourth time of trying to reset it, I gave up. Yeah. The ground's still a little frozen. It's kind of hard. You know, the top is mud, and then below that it's frozen, so it's hard to figure out how to get a stake to hold. But, you know, we're going to pack up some stuff, eat some Pop-Tarts, and uh, we'll touch base before we hit the river again. Here we are at campsite two. This is where we're going to launch from. They don't have the nice dock over here, but... We need to get around the obstruction in the water so we can get on our way. The wind's significantly picked up, so we're gonna try and hit the hit the trail. The water trail. The canoe trail. Sit down. Hey, can I sit? Can I sit? Shit, shit, shit. It's not mud, John. here when I get to the quote unquote bank. She's like, we're going the wrong way. This is not how this works. She is very concerned. A study in mediocre canoeing with John and Drew. We're gone. 
why I like the river, because you never see it again. It's always new. Always new smells. Okay, campsite two, no worse for wear. Had to paddle upstream. We ran into an obstruction that we can't even portage. So now we're on land looking at other options. Details to come. Update. We're not paddling through. Just several hundred yards of logs. Logs that you can't paddle through and then several hundred yards past where the actual shore is to get into. So we can't even portage it. So we paddled back upstream into camp two and we hiked all the way out to a road and then Drove back. Hiked out to the cars and drove back to the section of road we hiked out to. And now we're going to hike all our crap out. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Adventure. great adventure! You know what? Kind of super glad I'm wearing my backpack and not my dry bag. Getting the last canoe out. Getting that last canoe out to John's car. It's a good trip, even if it wasn't what we planned. We didn't plan a whole lot though, so good trip. Good to find a canoe camp this close to home. Right, I'm really, really looking forward to checking it out in like summer months. Yeah, as the year progresses and the water isn't so cold. Maybe July or something like that. But you know, if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up, click subscribe. Even if you didn't, throw us a bone. This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.